Hi, my name is Logan Elmer, and this is my week three analytic, analytics project. So the big question is, what would be my best audience engagement? Um, this is my tweet on, for to Brian Shea, who works at Game Informer, and it was responding to him requesting an unpopular opinion about your favorite video game series. And <clears throat> to me, my favorite is God of War, and I've always felt that people have given it a hard time because the action can seem like not very engaging and the story isn't there. Whereas I've always felt that they were kind of stories that explored humanity and kind of like what the tragedies we face can do to us. And when I posted that, I, I mean, two comments isn't a lot and only 21 likes, but to me, that says I did reach an audience who care, who shares the same feeling. So there's always the possibility of, could there be a silent majority that feels the same way? And they just don't, they have they either don't want to share that opinion or they don't know how to express it in a meaningful way and I feel like I can if I pursue my career the way I want to I can possibly do that later on in a bigger capacity so what am I going to do you want I want to try to respond to peers in my industry with larger followings than I <clears throat> this obviously it makes sense because you're giving yourself more exposure you're responding to them and if you get the chance that someone that they actually reply to you like if Greg Miller, it kind of funny, responded to me, everybody that follows him is going to see that reply. And if they see that I'm this new kid at IGN or where or Game Informer or wherever I might work, they realize that I do, I'm getting credibility for my opinion. <clears throat> and that will encourage readers and an audience to listen to me and maybe convince them that I might know what I'm talking about in some way. Uh, and I also want to try to represent those that like I said earlier, either don't have that voice or don't want to express that opinion. Um, I think a big problem with gaming as a community is it can seem very toxic and cancerous. And in truth, I I feel like we should express the, or celebrate those differences and kind of be like, hey, this guy feels this way. It may not be the like, like if you say Oc The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a bad game, that might not be the what everybody feels but maybe you can open a dialogue and express things and they can get us to look at other games in a different manner how does this affect me and the audience i choose i want to continue on the path i've set as a professional and as a person i've always been very real with people and tried to put my emotions into my writing and into my voice when i speak so continuing to do that i think will help sell my brand in the way I speak about video games in this professional capacity shows that I'm passionate about it and I want to talk about it and explain things and maybe learn something that I didn't know before from a different point of view. Um, I want to try and get involved in similar interactions by again replying to peers with a larger following. Um, and besides from the topic of trying to build myself as a like build my social media following I just want to interact with people and let them know that journalists aren't you know they're not jerks they want to talk to people we love games and I want to hear what other people have to say about it that's what gets me excited about working as a journalist and I want to be honest with people there's always this skepticism that uh, news outlets are paid to do reviews and I don't want people who follow me to ever think that I didn't give my honest opinion and you that's a big thing a journalist has to have is credibility. You have to people have to believe what you're saying. And if I'm always honest with them, then I think that will help build my credibility. So this has my been my analytics uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.